Hello everyone! In this video, I'll be talking about Instagram hashtags Using hashtags allow you to reach more users according to the content they are looking for. First thing you need to know is that you can use 30 hashtags for each post. You can use less if you want to, but it's better to use all of them because your posts will have better chances to show up to more people. So here's something that I recommend you to do. Create a note on your phone to keep your hashtags organized. I keep mine separated by the type of content, so depending on the photo that I'm going to post, I choose which hashtags I'm going to use. Ok, but how do we search and choose hashtags? There are some hashtags that are really popular on Instagram. These are the top 5. Ok, so I only have to choose 30 super popular hashtags and my post will reach a lot of people. No, I'm sorry, it doesn't work like this. You see, showing up in popular hashtags is super difficult because a lot of people are using it and unless your account has a significant number of followers, you won't stand a chance. Besides, you can just use random popular hashtags if they don't relate with your content. Even if you show up among the posts of the hashtag, people will just ignore your post. Make sure to use the ones that are relevant for the type of content that you post. You might be asking, so what should I do? Let's use my account as an example. I post about K-pop. To be more specific, my photos are all about my K-pop collection. So if I want to search for hashtags, I will go to Instagram and type K-pop collection. Hashtags recommendations will appear right below the follow button and next to related. These suggestions are a great way to start your list. Add some of these and you can maybe type another tag like, for me I would search for EXO album and see what comes up. This way you can build up your hashtag list. You can also add anything that might relate to your photo. Just be creative until you reach the limit of 30 hashtags. What are you talking about? There are some sites that might also help you searching and choosing hashtags. Like display purpose for example. You can type a hashtag and it will give you related tags and you can choose if you want 30 tags or less. Moving on to the last question of this video. So where do I put the hashtags? Comments or caption? This is actually up to you. They will work either way. I prefer to put mine on the comments because I think the caption gets a little messy when I put the hashtags there. But you can decide. So, I think that's it for this video. I think I covered basically everything I know about hashtags. Remember that Instagram always changes their rules and algorithms, so what I said here will not work forever. And keep in mind that these are some of the things that I do that work for me and my account. To succeed on Instagram, it depends on a lot of things. I talk about it on one of my videos, you can check that out later. That's it for now, I hope it was helpful and if it was, don't forget to like and subscribe. 
Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you all next time. Bye!